Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV, I'm Brett, and my hands is Scout's latest blind box. Yeah, it's not in one of the cool boxes they send out every month, but you know what? Comics are comics, as long as they show up in good shape. Yeah, whatever they get mailed in. Uh, so Scout sends out a, or has a blind box uh, that they send out every single month. It's not super blind, because they do kind of reveal everything that's in there. I just don't pay attention to that, so it's always blind to me. Uh, if you're a fan of indie comics or you're a fan of Scout comics, it tends to be a pretty solid deal. Uh, in that, you know, you're guaranteed to get some of their hottest releases. And what's great is they do tend to run, like, the entire series. So if you get the issue one, you're going to go until the end of it. So, you know, they won't leave you hanging, which is cool. Not always the case, but generally it's the case. Uh, so, you know, if you are a fan of indie comics, if you're a fan of Scout, I think it's, it's well worth uh, picking up. I also think it's really cool in that I can then use these to do some reviews of Scout releases. So let's see what's in this latest box and release. They do, even that brown box, very, very well packed. Ugh. Double pack. Double bubble. Oh, oh, oh. Well, yeah, we'll still count this as double. Technically, you need to call this triple if you really want, but we'll call this double. Alright. Well, we got some ash cans to start. We got some Davy Comics. We have Thud at number one. I actually don't know much about this. Uh, I think it came out last week or the week before. Um, so, definitely need to, uh, you know catch up on this. Uh, I love this cover. This cover is really, really, really cool. I'm going to guess this is a variant because I don't think this is the the normal one, the, the retail one. So I could be wrong on that, but this is this is pretty badass cover. Uh, Lunar Ladies. Uh, so this is a series I know, uh, I think it's like kind of like Amazon's on the moon and I think that's the story roughly. I haven't been reading it, I'll be honest. Uh, another pretty cool cover. Issue number three. I really should go check this out. In the comments, tell us which ones you kind of want me to go and, and really dive into. White Ash, issue one. I'm pretty sure this is a variant cover uh, for the series. Uh, I read, I think, like one issue of this and, and enjoyed it. It seemed like, seemed kind of like a cool series. It was like a fantasy series where characters like are immortal or whatever and it took place in modern times. Like, I think that was White Ash, remember right? Like, it, it seemed like a cool, cool series. So, um... I don't know, maybe we'll dive into this. I think this came out last week or the week before for that as well. Uh, Black Cotton number six. Uh, I have honestly not been reading this series. Um, I really disliked the first issue, I'll be honest. So i kind of been skipping out on this one. Again, if someone wants to make the case, I'd love to hear it in the comments. Please uh, please feel free to say if you want me to check stuff out. Uh, we got The Ballad of Gordon Barleycorn. Black Caravan and Ash Can of this. Ash Cans are pretty cool previews, and you usually get these, uh, get some in the package, which is nice. You can see what's coming up. Uh, Commander Rao. I really wanted to read this one. Again, I think this looks like a variant cover to me. Uh, this was a one shot, I believe, out a couple weeks ago. It might have been out officially last week. I don't remember what the deal I think it was like a soldier who was like a vet or like a champion of like really well known, starts questioning things. I believe that was the story, if I remember right. Uh, this was one I really, really want to read, but I just did not get a chance to do so. Uh, we got another ash can. We have the Keepers of the Cosmos. It's, it's just, it looks cool. It looks very kind of Mark, Mike Allred to me in many ways. I would I would check this one out. So this, looking forward to that one. Uh, so this one I'm actually really, really uh, looking forward to. It. Uh, God, what's it called? I'm sorry, like the cover of, the title of course is covered it's like something something wave third like third wave 99 i believe it is it was like an old clothing line and they're coming back with a new clothing line and a comic based off it i i'm looking forward to it. this is a variant there's a variant on the bottom i'm looking forward to it just because i love surfing so i kind of want to see what this is about um i really don't remember the clothing line so i'm intrigued by this I, i'm pretty sure i grew up when this was out so i'm a little weirded out by it uh, looking forward to this. this. is always a great series by the Horns number eight. Really cool fantasy series uh, about a character named Elodi whose uh, husband was killed or injured by unicorns and is off on a mission to go destroy wizards. 
with Unicorns Helbinger. Really cool fantasy series. If you kind of dig like Final Fantasy vibes, you're going to like this one. It's, this is, I think, loved. Well, I would say that not, I think. It's loved by the team. Um, there's multiple of us that really, really like it. Uh, Snatch number four. This one, I was not a big fan of the first issue as well. Um, so I haven't really been paying attention to it. It has to do with uh, the hair industry. Again, someone make their case uh, if you want. And maybe I'll go check it out. We got Gods of Brutality. God, what was the video game that this reminds me of? There was a, game, a video game with like a rocker and it had this vibe. It looked kind of cool. I don't know. Intrigued. I do like the, the cover. I, it says Black Hair Variant Exclusive. So we're going to go guess variant on that. Uh, we got Ranger Stranger number one. Just the, the title alone gets me a laugh on this one. This is one I really want to check out. I don't believe it's out yet. So it probably will be out this coming month. Uh, so kind of uh, excited for that one. So overall, we get, you know, a nice variation of comics, uh, some ash cans, the previous stuff, some black caravans, some regular comics, some kids comics, uh, stuff probably geared more towards kids. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 12 releases, some variants, very cool stuff. If you are into Scout, I recommend the box. I, I think it's really cool. If you're into indie comics or just collecting in general, it's well worth getting because a lot of these do sell out and, uh, and, you know, belly goes up. So bonus and bonus. We'll have some reviews of a lot of these as well right here at GPTV. If you want the latest scout news, comic news in general, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. If you want your own box, we got a link underneath this box or underneath this video where you can purchase your own. It's just a link. We get nothing for it. We're just fans. Uh, as always, I really appreciate you watching. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.